The for of loop in JavaScript allows you to loop over iterable objects. Now, there are many iterable objects in JavaScript, but two of the main ones are going to be array and string. So if you want to loop over arrays, you can use the for of loop. And I'll show you how right now. So we have a list of numbers here, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. So how do we loop over the array? Well, I can say here, for const n of numbers. Okay, so for of. Now, this here is going to iterate through your array and for every number, it's going to provide it through the n constant. And you can say console.log, we are at number. Then I'll say plus n just like this. I'll save this, run the script and we get here, we're at number one, two, four, eight, sixteen, and 32. So this code has, or this block has executed for every single number in the array. What did I mean by iterable? Well, I've got a whole video dedicated to iterables in JavaScript, but essentially an iterable is an object which exposes an interface to be iterated over. Another object in JavaScript which does this are strings. Instead of numbers, I'll say username equal to, then provide a string, so I can say decode, and the way that a string iterates over is through each character. So now I can say for const character, or simply just C, for C of username, I can say console log, and I'll just log out the value of C. Save this, run the script again, and we get D, C, O, D, E, of course, each character is iterated over and logged out to the, uh, to the console. Now, here is a list of built-in iterables in JavaScript. I'll leave this linked down below as well. String, array, type, array, map, set, etc. You can also make your own iterables if you want, but for the most part, you're going to be using four of on arrays. Now, you can also take advantage of the entries function. So, going back to the array here, if you want to use for of and get your uh, index as well, you can say for const, then use array destructuring, Index, then you can say number of numbers dot entries, okay, because dot entries here is going to give you a 2D array uh, with your key and value, so index and value. You can then say, for example, I'll log out the index and the number, and there we go. So you get index zero for one, one, two, two, four, and so on. And that is all for this video. If this one helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode, and here is another video.